Uh oh. Here we go. What's going on you guys and welcome to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So it is actually currently the next day after I drove it back home. We have the Pro Charger and everything right here. So last night I really couldn't like get on it at all because this line right here, which is hooked up to the fuel pressure regulator, needed to be hooked, it, hooked up to a vacuum line, which I hooked this up to this one, which is actually vacuum. And as you guys saw in the previous video, um, the blow-off valve um, I had connected to this one, which we plugged up now. This one has no vacuum, so it was fluttering and the whole thing just wasn't working. And we were like, kind of like, oh, well, 
your blow off valve's not working, but it ended up being that we had no vacuum. This was the one that had vacuum, so we hooked it up to the blow off valve, and then I T tapped it and uh, hooked it up to the fuel pressure regulator as well. So that was the reason why I couldn't floor it at all or even get on it a little bit was because that wasn't hooked up. But now I got the T-tap and hooked everything up. So we are all good to go. I still can't really get on it because I, I don't have a tune or I have a tune, but it's a base tune just for me to get home. I don't, I haven't data logged or anything like that. So I'm not gonna get on it just yet. Um, we'll get on it on the data logs and stuff. But for now, it's just gonna be like normal driving, just make a, make some noise enough of me talking let's get inside the car start this bad boy up sounds good i even put the grill and everything back in that was a pain in the butt so this is like a cold start Still haven't fixed the tips. I plan to do that. I've just been really, really busy. That'll be easy, an easy fix, anyways. All right, let's go for a drive. All right, so I set the camera up differently. Hopefully, uh, this angle is a lot better. That way, you can actually see what I'm doing. But the only bad thing, though, that I see from this angle is that uh, the window is cracked open just a little bit and it's going straight to the microphone. So I hope that. Uh, the wind noise isn't too bad. Ooh, listen to that thing blow. All right, so I guess this is officially the uh, first drive drive. Oh, crap. Oh, there is a Z06 right there. Oh, that's this thing right with a spoiler. Let's go play with him. Dang, this thing sounds amazing, y'all! Huh? Holy crap. Sounds legit like a jet. Alright, there's the Corvette. I just rolled up the window all the way just in case um, the wind noise was ruining the videos. So we're gonna do a drive where the windows are just up. Let's get a nice downshift. Ooh. back up uh, so this is gonna be an acceleration with the windows up it honestly sounds like a dentist office like the wine noise sounds like the uh... oh
like just normally driving you can't hear the blower at all like if you're just cruising which is good which is really good for uh, on the highway or just driving in general but once you get into the higher RPM like I would say like any higher than 2500 RPM you're gonna be making some noise acceleration Just like that this thing gets up You could just feel it like hesitating, like wanting to go. <sighs> this thing is on a whole nother level. I cannot wait to get this thing dialed in. <sighs> Man, this thing sounds so good. I cannot wait to floor it. I think that'll be the next video on the data logs, but we'll just see. Cause I don't think we're gonna start out going up to 7,500. I think it's gonna be like idle, then like 2,500 to 55, something like that. So that'll be in the next video. One thing I did want to show you guys was this filter. Let me just warn you guys. So, we have the supercharger there, obviously. And with the supercharger, you have the filter. This filter, if you get it from AutoZone, because it's the only one that I could find that was small like that, do not get the Sparkle one. And I say this because I've had friends of mine tell me that the metal piece in there, you can't really see it, but like in the middle of there is a metal piece and what happens is, is if you push enough boost or over time it starts to peel off and it, the middle piece section will come off and go straight into your blower and ruin the whole thing. I've had three friends tell me that because I've told them of my setup and everything. They were, like, they were like, first thing you need to do is take that filter off. And so literally an hour ago I ordered a turbo guard. So, that comes in later this week, but for now I'm just gonna run it like this and not really get on it. But when I do the data logs, I'll just take it off. That way, Matt can see the data logs that I would run if the turbo guard was on because there's not gonna be a filter or anything. So when we do the data logs, the filter will be off 100%. So I just wanted to warn you guys, it's from AutoZone or Advance and uh, it's called Sparko. Just be very cautious with that. But back to the way it sounds, sounds incredible. But everything looks good still. Uh, the belt tensioner didn't seem to move or adjust or anything like that. Usually after 500 miles or something, this will like uh, bounce back up and you'll have to uh, push it back down. But this notch hasn't moved at all. Everything seems to be working okay. No leaks or anything. Here, I wanna give you guys a couple of reps. That was like 3K and 4K. That, the one where I went up a little bit higher was like around 3,500 to 4K. This thing sounds amazing, y'all. I freaking love it. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the first drive. Um, 
it's absolutely killer. Went for a little bit of a drive. Oh, I, I honestly, in my mind, I'm just like, I'm boosted. I, I'm freaking boosted, y'all. This is freaking amazing. I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the data logs. We are going to data log the, the supercharger and everything on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. And uh, if you guys liked it, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the button down below. And like always, guys, have a great day. Peace.